The Secret to Success by Nguyễn Thanh Xuân The Continuation of Chapter 1 The Fifth Mysterious Secret The Secret of the World In the world in which we are living in, you see many people as activists. They are anti-war, anti-property, anti-hunger, some even anti-drugs and anti-diseases. They do not understand that the more they focus on these subjects, the more they will attract them into the world. They have unintentionally attracted more hunger, war, and drugs. Mother Teresa understood this fact. She declared, quote, I will not ever join any anti-war and hunger activists. If there is a peace rally, please let me know so I can join, unquote. Mother Teresa recognized the law of attraction. Let me tell you another story so you can understand life is just a reflection of what we are sending out, the story of the legend of the ego. One day, a man and his young sons were hiking up to the mountain. When the two of them got to the top of the mountain, his son slipped and one small rock and he almost fell. He yelled, Ah! To his surprise, the ego bounced back with, Ah! The son looked at the mountain on the other side and asked, Who are you? He heard the same ego asking back, Who are you? The young boy began to scare and disturb, thinking that someone was mocking him. He started yelling, You are a coward. Again, this same voice bows back to him, You are a coward. This time, the young boy turned to his father and asked what had happened. It seemed so strange. He, his father smiled and talked to him loudly, I love you, son. The voice from the other side of the mountain also repeated back to him, I love you, son. His father slowly explained to his dearest son, My dear child, do you know the voice that you heard is an echo of your own voice? It came from you, and it was the reflection of what you have sent out. Just like our real lives, everything that you have right now is the reflection of you. All of your thinking, talking, and doing will bring exactly the same results for your life. They are the results of what you have sent out. So if you want to have good things in life, you need to send out good things. At this time, the young boy have learned a valuable lesson in life. On the way home, he started thinking of what he really wants and drew in his mind a secret dream for his future. Summary The power of positive thinking is a gift that everyone must learn to use and apply into our lives. Just imagine we only think of love, happiness, wealth, health, and peace, etc. The law of attraction will soon bring us what we wish, then the whole world would live in harmony. Therefore, if you can start right away today for your own personal life first to apply the law of attraction principles into yourself and your family, if our society starts thinking of love, happiness, and wealth, and dismisses all of the thinking of poverty and illness, then we can all live in the harmony world right here on this earth. That's the uh, finish, the chapter one. Please look forward to my next video for chapter two, 
the law of thinking. Until then, I wish you have a very wonderful and happy life. Thank you for watching and I hope you like my video. Please subscribe, give it a thumb up, like to support my channel. Thank you so much.